This is an evenly matched race. This is anyone's race here in race three. A lot of good options here. We are scratched down to a field of five, and those five Philly mares are lining up in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. Back upstairs to track announcer, Vance Cameron. Tobin Toddy, Century Kiana, Callistico, Southfield Star, Dusty Lane Zara. Scratch down to a field of five in the third, top of the stretch. Now approaching a start. The rough end pacing. Southfield stars the first one out along the rail. Tobin's Hotty, third into the turn. That's Century Kiana. To get away fourth is Callistico. Then the early trailer will be Dusty Lane Zara. Up front, the leader at the eight pole. Southfield star for Barrio. That is Century Kiana from the outside second. Third up the rail, Tobin's Hotty. Back into fourth is Callistico and trailing the field. Dusty Lane Zara. So the new leader at the opening quarter, that's Century Kiana to take over for Brody McVie. 29 and three opened it up. Second, that is Southfield Star. Third on the turn, Tobin's Hottie. Callistico fourth. And on the outside fifth, that is Dusty Lane Zara. So off the turn they come, straightening down the stretch with the half mile in their sights now. Up front, the leader, Century Kiana. Then racing from second, that is Southfield Star. Tobin's Hottie third. Callistico has closed in fourth and trailing the field, that is Dusty Lane Zara. So they're halfway home, led by Century Kiana in 59 and four. She's opened up by two. Second is Southfield Star. Round the turn in third. That is Tobin's Hardy. Callistico fourth. Up on the outside fifth. Dusty Lane Zara. Here comes the three quarters next. On the front end, Century Kiana, the leader on Southfield Star. Tipping to the outside third is Tobin's Hardy. Up the rail, Callistico fourth. On the outside trailing fifth, Dusty Lane Zara, but she's not out of it. Three quarters and one. 31 flat. That is Century Kiana. Kiana, the leader with an eighth to go. Tobin's Hardy is second. Dusty Lane Zara coming out three wide third. Up the rail, fourth, Southfield Star. Down the stretch they come. That is Century Kiana. Southfield Star. Dusty Lane Zara. Southfield Star on the line. Second, that's Dusty Lane Zara. Third is Century Kiana. 2-0. Two, oh, two and two. Tight finish there in race three. The winning move for Barrio off the wings with Southfield Star as they're going to pounce to the front and then release the uh, favorite Century Kiana and Brody McPhee and get a perfect stocking pocket ride here in race three. Quarter 29 and three put up by Century Kiana. Half 59 and four, 131. The two Tobins, Hottie was threatening late in the mile for Corey McPherson and on her back, was Dusty Lane Zara on the far outside. You're going to see land on the scene late here for Norris Rogers. It is tight on the line, but I believe up the pass lane is a Maritime Magic Man. He gets it done here with Southfield Star converting from that perfect pocket ride up the pass lane to get it done here for her first lifetime win. Three year old Philly by Stonebridge Terror gets it done in 202 and 2. Nice effort here in the third.
Southfield Star arriving at the third race winner's circle by pacing Philly 3 by Stonebridge Terror off the Ameripan Gigolo Dam, Southfield Sassy. On by Terry Morrison, Irwin Cleaner, and Joseph Lewis of Nova Scotia, bred by Southfield Farms Incorporated and Claire Calhoun. Trained by Ronnie Matheson, Jill's Burial picks up the winning drive, and the Philly will pick up a maiden record of 2-0, 2-2. Southfield Star in the third.